Do you know which one is better? ARM or x86? Should you buy an Apple M series laptop or a Snapdragon 1? Or you just go with Intel or AMD? The answer to that is much more complicated than you think. But let's make it simple in this video. Two processing architecture comes with two different philosophies. To simplify the programmer's job or to simplify the microprocessor's job. Intel launched 16-bit 8086 processor in 1978 and after that came its successor with the 86 in their name. Although most modern CPUs are not 16-bit anymore, the x86 name stands because it refers to the underlying instruction set architecture. An instruction set is machine's language to communicate with the hardware. But in 1980s, a British company called A on computers wanted to compete in personal computer market and they set out to design their own CPUs and that's how ARM was born. For many years, the typical answer to the x86 and ARM debate was x86 is better when it comes to high performance computing and ARM is more suitable for mobile devices. That perception changed when Apple launched their ARM based M1 chip in 2020. Although ARM CPUs are much more capable when it comes to high performance computing nowadays, but operating system meant for x86 won't run on ARM and applications which are developed for ARM won't run on x86 and vice versa without any emulation. But why? Well, because of the architectural difference. x86 is based on CISC and ARM is based on RISC. Put it simply, both meant to transfer goods from one place to another. But one is a truck that travels via road and another is a ship that travels via water. Both are really good at their jobs and both are doing essentially the same job. But how they are doing it is what making them completely different from each other. If you don't want to get nerdy, then jump to the next section of the video. Otherwise, CISC stands for Complex Instruction Set Computing and RISC stands for Reduce Instruction Set Computing. And as the name suggests, RISC has fewer instructions compared to CISC and each basic instruction is executed at a time or in a clock cycle. CISC instruction set can be complex and also can execute multiple tasks in a single instruction set, making them harder and much more costly to design. CISC can access the memory directly by using MOV opcode, but RISC is register centric, where you have to move back and forth with the data from the register. The compiler has to work much more harder to make high level code work on ARM device, but x86 leverages a micro code to optimize machine code. Basically, ARM favors simplicity and fast execution, and x86 has much more complex instructions. Now, Architecture is not the only differentiating thing between these two platforms. There are some physical differences. Majority of ARM CPUs are dependent on their peripheral components. That means that ARM CPUs comes in a package with the RAM, GPU and others which we know as SOC or system on a chip. But if you buy an Intel or AMD CPU, you can add as much and any RAM you want if it's supported by your chipset. You can also buy any GPU you want, whether it's from Nvidia, AMD or Intel. Almost every single combination should work fine using appropriate drivers. Now it is not impossible to make ARM CPUs like that because people have tried, but all of those falls into large business use case category. And I guess most of you watching this video neither have that large business nor the infrastructure. Most most of you just want to know which one is better. So let's answer that. If you want a super efficient computer, then you should look at Apple's M series laptop. Although it is no more the revolutionary chip like M1 because there is a thing called physics, but the current M chip is still a very good SOC in itself. And 
If Windows is your flavor of operating system, then well, you're kind of stuck with Snapdragon. Also need to look at does your choice of application works on ARM or not? And if it doesn't, then how good or bad the emulation performance is. But if you want a high performance and much flexible platform, then x86 is still your best bet. Now, ARM has came a long way since 1980s. It is now much more powerful and I'm sure it just need a little bit more time to mature so it can see the mass adoption that was with we have seen with x86. And also this video is not complete completely technically explorational video or basically it doesn't have all the technicalities that you need to know about ARM versus x86 or RISC versus CISC because if I do that this would be a computer science lecture and this channel is not where I teach you about ComSci. There are a lot of channels and a lot of videos that you will be able to find on YouTube that does it much better than me. So this is just an interesting look, a basic overview about what is the difference between ARM and x86 or CISC versus RISC. Now, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't, well, feel free to dislike this video and let me know in the comment section which part you disliked. And if you want to watch more videos from us, check out this video right here. And if you want to subscribe, which I definitely do appreciate if you do that, well, do it by here. And there's Akash and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.